Hey, I'm Charlie Stevens. Uh, got a house in process. I wanted to find an example of a gun hide. Better to have a gun and not need it than to need a gun and not have it, okay? So in a bedroom, in a place where a child can't get it. I'll, I'll show you here. So here we are in a new bedroom, okay? There's nothing in here yet. Um, but you want to have something in a place that no one will see it, but it's always available to you when you need it. And let's say you're sleeping in here, you're in bed, your wife elbows you, something's gone bump in the night, you jump up. Just come right over here real quick, grab your gun, just like that. So most interior door frames called a rough opening where the door drops inside, the top overhead that you walk underneath looks just like this. Two two by fours stacked on top of each other. It does very little structurally, okay? All it is is a place there to be able to typically nail your trim and hold the two sides apart at an even distance. So you, you, what you're doing is you're cutting out this bottom section, just a, a pocket and pulling that out. So this remains intact and this part here is gone, say 10 inches in the case of what we just did, to allow for a gun or a key or a wallet to go in there. So when you come up and you already have an existing door in your house and you, you, it's a good spot to put a gun, you would come up here and you would, you would massage it loose, okay? Without trying to break anything, you probably will need a knife, utility knife, to uh, make relief cuts. So let's say you've just popped off this trim over an existing door in your house. You can take a sawzall and you go like this and you start it and you twist it up in and cut that out. It's not hard to do. You just don't want to overcut if you can help it. If you don't have a sawzall, just with some time and some grit, you take a sharp chisel and just start working at it and chisel out, which I've done it that way before too. And just chisel a pocket, beaver it down. Okay, so we have this pocket here opened up. That would be too difficult to get a hinge in there. So I go to the right side and the left side and to create a recessed spot. It's too difficult to try to massage drywall into being just an eighth of an inch deeper. I ended up taking out all the drywall, ripping this piece here, these, these on the table saw, some pine, three eighths of an inch because this material, this drywall's half inch drywall. So that allowed me to, to recess the hinges into the wall and make room for this. So here we have our head of trim, our top piece that's gonna be the hinged portion to hide this little cubby up there. So I know I have a spot right behind here, so I'm gonna go all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and I'm gonna install a piano hinge, and it's no big deal, you can get it right up to the edge. You could even go a little proud and stick it up a little higher to make it easier. Um, you just can't see it from, from the ground unless you're very tall. Just like that. So one important thing is to have the right length screws. You don't want to run it through and out the other side. So it pays to keep little bags and things from other projects of screws. These are the ones that I have specifically that are the right length to get a good solid grab and not punch out the other side. So an important step here, you're only gonna see this mitered edge where it closes together. You want it to really be able to close smoothly. So you would take and you'd, you'd whittle this stuff away. So this is just a down and dirty video that I had some time today to go ahead and do this to show an example. Now it's gotta be finished out, it's gotta be painted, caulked, all that. Um, but this gives you the general idea. Just play around with it. I'll probably get some magnetic catches that will make this close tight. But for sake of time, this gets you a start. So I hope you enjoy this project. It's a, it's a fun one. It takes some head scratching. You know, it's not quite as simple, but if you keep working at it, you'll dial it in and get it just right. You'll appreciate it for years to come. It's in a place where a child won't find it. We're gonna keep turning out these videos and I'm really hoping you love them and that you subscribe. So I'm very grateful, thank you for watching.